Ahlan wa sahlan ya shabab. Hello and welcome for our last time in this YouTube tutorial series. I mean, we're basically finished. Just what I want to show you is I did some changes here, just um, made some improvements for the controller. I also added um, a new branch. And uh, let me just show you in Git what I did here. Uh, let's scroll down. Instead of passing a second argument, I'm just using via the um, the static method. Okay, when we pass something, and but there is an exception for uh, the create task. As you can see, not passing okay this time. I'm just passing HTTP state is created, and there's also a change for deleted, where I um, um, adapt a little bit the uh, method delete task adding a header value and also passing as a second argument here, no content. It's basically it's a 240 something got deleted. And of course, you have to also adapt the unit, the integration test for the controller. And you can check it out on here. Did some, I did yeah, some changes here. But I said I had to adapt here some things. And yeah, that's basically it. As, as you can see, as you can see, I created a new branch. I will be lazy right now and commit all in one and say um, controller improvements and necessary uh, integration test adaptions. Okay, let's say commit and push. Yes, push. Everything is pushed. Go, we can go back now to our repository. As we can see, there's a new pull request. Let's compare and compare this pull request, control improvements. Uh, yeah, here we see all the changes and so on and so forth. Ah, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I just, I have to select the correct branch. We take, of course, the master branch. As you can see, our current branch is here on the right side, on the left is our master branch. Always, that's also a good thing. Also check out the changes. Here we see all the changes which have been done. All the changes, all the changes. This is for controller integration test. These are the for the actual class, all the changes, and yeah, always compare them, and then say create pull request. The UI will update now, as you can see, it takes with GitHub Actions. I don't know what, uh, all the two to three seconds until it updates the UI. When it says okay, the the job is starting. When we go out again and click again to action. Here we see the running um, build process. And yeah, now this will run. Uh, I will just quickly uh, stop the video. Okay, this build job was um, successful. Alhamdulillah, thanks to God. Let's go again back to pull request. Normally you would always, uh, where it is, file changes. Normally you would always go through and look all the changes you have made. They even do it when you submit the pull request to your teammates. When you go through all the changes, you think why you changed something, you always find something you could improve. <laughs> yeah, don't bother your, your uh, colleagues with changes you could have um, done before you submit the pull request. Otherwise they will tell you, hey, this is something you could improve. So, okay, for now let's say merge pull request. Yeah, confirm. Confirm. It will run one more time. So let's go to. It's already merged. Pipeline will run one more time, and this should be now hopefully soon all green. Okay. All of this uh, two jobs are finished successfully. Alhamdulillah. And as you can see, our API is still available. 
And the thing is, um, we can also check it again on our terminal. I just wanted to show you basically, um, this is from before, let me just log out that you see it's everything from scratch. Just let me log in. Okay, let me just clear the screen. Okay, it's cleared. Let's look for first this. Okay, our application is still running here, Docker proxy and now again Docker PS to list all containers. And now you can see the container is created and st status up a minute ago, before it was three minutes. If you just pause the video and, and scroll back a few seconds, then you see it was uh, three minutes something. And yeah, but the name is still backend and so on. And yeah, I just wanted to show you now the pipeline works. It should it should also work uh, without problems for you. You see all all the actions here and all this this fails I can delete right now. And yeah, I hope as long as you don't change something here in the settings for the for the uh, secrets and variables actions, as long as you don't do something uh, change some of your credentials. Uh, you you should you need to also update them here. Otherwise, otherwise the pipeline will fail. But the pipeline will tell what what is failing if the password is incorrect. And yeah, also make sure you check out my medium.com articles to grab all the comments and so on and so forth. And yeah, and you should also be able to see all the Slack notifications now. Here, this one, thanks to God, Alhamdulillah. Uh, also, as you can see, this is the last message here. Now, as, now I dot YAML file. Here, the last uh, message. And now, give let me give you an outlook. So basically, we finished all of this. This is all done. We developed a backend project with Kotlin and Spring Boot, and now we added the pipeline. We added the CI/CD YAML file pushed it to Docker Hub and here on Do Docker Hub, I mean, this is current there, but I, I just missing here one error. This should be here. Also an error going to, okay. Uh, but I think you know what I mean when I say um, here should also an error and yeah, arrow, arrow going here to Docker Hub because we are pulling the, the image from the backend here from, with the Docker Compose file. And this is all done. This is all done. And next thing, what we are going to do here on this system diagram, here also the main part is done. What is missing right now is the Android app and the few frontend app. And with the next tutorial series, we'll be the Android frontend app. Because now what we have is we have raw data here just JSON. And we want to have a nice application, a nice mobile application, an Android app and a nice web front-end app. So we can also edit and um, edit our tasks, delete them, finish them and update them instead of using always Postman. And yeah, the next tutorial series will be the Android app because I'm not sure if I will do the web front-end with Vue or maybe Angular. Uh, let's see, but yeah, definitely the next one will be the Android app where we create the Android app, um, also write unit tests, UI tests and show you an easy way to create a native Android app. So uh, stay tuned, please, if you like this tutorial series, please like my videos, sub subscribe to my channel, give me some comments because believe me, a year ago when I started to, to, cre uh, to create a CI CD pipeline from a private project. I would be so happy if I had a video like this showing every everything from scratch for GitHub Actions pipeline. And so please, if it helped you, please just show me some love, subscribe, like to my channel, write me some nice comments or also write some comments what you think I could improve or also write things you want to see the next. I mean, for sure next you will see the Android um, the Android tutorial series, if you 
if you're more interested in Vue or more uh, in Angular, write me this and based on the amount of comments, I will decide. And yeah, this is it for this uh, tutorial series. Uh, mabruk to all of you Shabab, Mabruk Shabab, uh, that you finished the whole series. And Mabruk means congratulations in Belarabe. And yeah, see you in the next tutorial series. Ilalika ya Shabab.